Hi, I'm Jenny. Exercise is so hard to fit into a busy life. It often gets pushed to the side. I want to give you eight minutes of circuit training, yoga style. If you have blocks, have them within reach. I'm also using a long towel or you can use a yoga strap. So facing sideways, reach the arms up, take a full breath in and fold in half with soft knees. Walk your feet slightly back and come onto your knees with your toes tucked under. Using the blocks underneath your hands, stretch your spine back into a rounded spine. Take a deep breath, bring your shoulders right above your wrists and your knees right under your hips. Inhale to bend, chest forward, exhale press, two more. Inhale, bend, and press, one more, bend, and press, tucking the toes round the spine and roll back for a stretch. Good. Repeat that. If you'd like more challenge, slide your blocks farther forward for a straight line between your knees and your head. Inhale and press. Inhale and press. Keep the shoulder heads away from the floor so you're not rounding forward. And round back. Great. Repeat either one of those two or come all the way up into full plank. Inhale, bend chest forward and press one. Inhale and press two. Inhale and press three. If your knees are down, lift them up. Lift your hips, press up and back into your downward facing dog. Press through your hands, maybe soften your knees and stretch. Reach the right leg up behind you, full breath. Rock forward, knee to the nose and place the foot far forward between the hands. Allow your feet to be slightly wide apart from left to right so that you're not walking on a tightrope. Lower your back knee down, shoulders soft and lift it up, one. Inhale, and lift it up, two. Inhale, lift it up, three. Good, press back into that front leg stretch, toes up, soften the knee, and downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, rock forward, knee to the nose, scoop your abdominals, place the foot far forward, widen from left to right, and lower the back knee down. Light on the fingertips, inhale, and exhale, one, inhale. Heel is under the knee, not forward, not knee forward. And three times, straighten the front leg, flex the front foot, get into that front hamstring. Ah, one more breath, and downward facing dog. Good, walk the feet toward the hands, and widen your feet wider than your hips, and slightly turn out your toes. Bend your knees and bring your forearms onto your thighs. Your butt bones are back, your chest is forward, hands to the heart. Press through your heels, come to stand, full breath in. Bend your knees, hands to the heart. Extend your arms, stretch your legs, and bend again. Weight is in the heels, press and lift, and bend, and stretch, and bend. Three more, inhale, and bend and stretch, and bend, two more, inhale, and bend, and stretch, and bend, last one, inhale, stretch, and bend, and reach, and bend, great. So, come into a yogi squat, which means you're going to lower your butt down. If you feel this in your knees, stop here and don't go farther. If you can go further without knee pain, come into a yogi squat here, lift your chest, Walk your hands forward, and you're going to carefully lower your bottom to the ground. Ah, place your feet flat, fingers pointing toward your bottom. Lift your chest, and then lift your hips way up high. We're going to lower your hips slightly and do three elbow bends. Inhale, bend, and exhale. Press one and two. Shoulder heads are back. Three, and lift up. Three more sets. And one and two, and three, and lift, two more sets, and one, two, three, up, one more set, and one, two, and three, lift up, have a seat, face forward, cross one ankle over the other, reach the left arm up, pat yourself on the back, and give yourself a tricep stretch up and over whole side body stretch watch the butt doesn't leave the ground reach 
Pass back up, pat yourself on the back. Give yourself that tricep stretch, the back of the arm here. Reach up and over and stretch. Good, notice the shoulder, slide it down. And then come back to face the side. Extend your legs, and this is where you'll grab your yoga strap or your towel and give yourself a nice stretch, pulling the toes back toward you. If you don't need a yoga strap or a towel, and if you can touch your toes, take a hold of the big toes and pull them toward you with your index and middle fingers. And then moving the prop, slowly roll all the way down to your back. Legs into tabletop, lower back imprinted, hands behind the head. Exhale, one. Exhale, two, one more. Exhale, three, hold. Inhale down. Exhale, one. Head is heavy. Exhale, two. Exhale, three, hold. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Last one. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three, hold. Hug the knees in. Place the feet flat, hands by your side, palms up. Now I want you to bend your elbows, press into the elbows and lift your chest. So your thoracic spine is lifted, then press through your heels and lift your hips. And then rock back and forth to bring your arms a little bit more underneath you and stretch the arms long. In this position, guys, I want not this, but this. So lengthen the butt toward the backs of the knees. If this is enough for you, stay here. And otherwise, you can interlace the hands. Transfer your weight to one leg and lift one leg up. Watch that this doesn't happen. Hold. And place it down. Other side. And stretch. Hold. Breathing. And lower down. Release the hands if they're linked. Roll through the spine. Windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Good. Take your right foot across the left knee, press it away. So if you have five or six more minutes, do that whole circuit again. And otherwise, we're going to finish up with a stretch and take a momentary Shavasana. Stretch. And extend the legs long on the mat. Close your eyes, palms up, take a deep breath in. And full breath out. Thank you for joining me. Hey, I'm Jenny. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be many more videos coming your way. Bottom right corner of your screen.